What's up, y'all? This is the Power Up Mushroom. I'm coming to you with a review for Street Fighter 30th Anniversary. Now, Street Fighter, the 30th Anniversary Collection, really, if you're a Street Fighter fan, you probably already picked this up already, but I kind of want to throw my thoughts out on it, because I did throw my thoughts out on the last Street Fighter game that came out, Street Fighter 2, and you know what, I think, you know, why not talk about it, I love Street Fighter, I, I'm, I was really hyped up for the 30th Anniversary Collection, and let me tell you that, it really doesn't disappoint when it comes to the amount of games and the content that I was expecting in the game. But at the same time, I kind of feel that the content's lacking a little bit, but I'll get into that in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and talk about the good first real quick. So Street Fighter, the 30th Anniversary Collection, it comes with 12 Street Fighter games. That's right, guys, it comes with 12 games. It includes Street Fighter, Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition, Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Super Street Fighter, the New Challengers, uh, Street Fighter Alpha 1, 2, and 3. And we also have Street Fighter 3, the New Generation, Street Fighter 3, Second Impact, and Street Fighter 3 uh third strike yeah it's a mouthful it's quite a few games in there and one of the buying points that a lot of people they wanted to see they wanted to play original street fighter me no i've never played original street fighter other than like roms like i've never played you know i've i've touched it you know what i mean like where you just kind of touch the game you kind of put it down and you're like no it's not that good let me tell you street fighter one is back with all its terrible glory and it's it's there to stay it's there it's just it's just there and oh my god i've the game isn't that good. The Street Fighter 1 is not that good. But anyways, moving on to the stuff that this game includes other than the 12 games that it has in there, which I was really excited for. It, it, the reason that there's so many versions of the games, versions of the games is because uh, most of these, they're, well, they're all arcade ports. They're not the home console. So all these arcade ports, they include some balancing issues. They include new characters. Like Street Fighter 2, I'm going to use this as an example. Street Fighter 2, you have... Uh, Super Street Fighter, the new challengers, or like Turbo or whatever. Street, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, and then original Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting or the one for it. Uh, you have special moves like Rio's uh, Spin Kick. It can't last as long in Turbo. Like There's balancing issues like that that really help the game. It helped flesh it out a little bit more. And all these were like new arcade cabinets back in the day. You know, they'd bring them in, reprogram them, or they'd just replace it with the new Street Fighter 2 version. So you, you get like all the different versions. So if you have that friend that's sitting there just kind of like, bet you can't beat me at Street Fighter 2 hyper fighting. And you're just kind of there like, I got it right here, whichever version you want, boy. It's, it's stuff like that that I'm really excited for in this game because if you have that friend that's always trash talking and he's always like, oh yeah, I can beat you at Street Fighter 3 Alpha if only we had it, but we don't. You can pull out this collection and be like, all right, then challenge me. It's, it's one of those cool things that you have all this stuff at your disposal. Uh, but that's kind of where the disappointing part comes in for me because you would think that you could challenge your friends to all these different Street Fighter games all 12 of them and you could you can challenge your friend to Street Fighter 1 to through all the different versions of 2 or 3 uh, It's all there for you, but there's only four games that are available to play online So if you unless your friend is sitting there right with you like you can't really play against him unless you're using share play on the PlayStation 4 or you know, you're, you have your Switch around, and you can, you're, or you're playing with them locally, really. And that's the only way you can play with, like, any different version of Street Fighter, is if you play locally, you can do that, or you can play one of the four modes that are available online. Now, the online mode, it doesn't feature all the Street Fighter games, which I will admit is pretty disappointing. I was kind of expecting, like, you know what, have, you know, each game available. And I kind of understand why they can't do that, otherwise you're going to have a bunch of different people playing different games at different times. And it's, the online isn't going to work that well, so they had to reduce the number, so I understand that. But it would be nice if you could set up a room and kind of set the game as like, Hey, you know what? Street Fighter 2 Turbo or Street Fighter The New Challengers. Or you know what? Let's play some Street Fighter Alpha 2 online. Uh, it's just stuff like that that kind of would have made the game flow better, but they don't have that. And it really, it, it's not a lot of work that would go in. I don't think it would be a lot of work. Just set up the room, have a lobby host or something. 
but it's just I kind of wish that they would kind of gone that extra mile just kind of put like to where you can set up those online matches and all your rules and this also draws into my next problem with the game is just that the game doesn't have a lot of settings for online play and what I mean by that guys is that like when you play online you, you know you can play the game and all that stuff it works well it, it kind of I'll get into that in a little bit but you can't really set matches to like your, your how would I put it your liking point is there's not really a lot of options to set the way or to fix the matches how you want if you want to put unlimited time or stuff you can't really do that uh, in online so that was a little disappointing not only that but right now the online let me tell you the online has been it's been bugging out for me i don't know if it has for you guys but for the playstation 4 i've been playing this version a lot uh, the online isn't working that great. It, it's, it works. It, it, there's a couple times I've gotten good matches, but when I play online, a lot of the times I get a bunch of lag. I either get, you know, the sound will start glitching out. You'll have frame rate drops. You'll have like, there's a lot of lag going on for both players, and it doesn't make it really fair. A lot of the time, there's input lag on the game, and for people who are into like, you know, really heavy competitive street fighting, you know, tournaments and stuff. You can you know that input lag is a bad thing. That that's not really good. Um, so it, it just kind of it, it bothers or taints the experience a little bit because you want to play these games online, but the online isn't working well. I would hope that it would, but it's just not. Is it easy to find a match? Yeah, it's easy to find a match, but if you're starting off at level zero, there's really no guarantee that you're gonna get linked up with somebody who's also a level zero because right when I jumped in. A Street Fighter 2, like I want to play Street Fighter 2 online immediately. Uh, I, I had no matches played at all, but I immediately got matched up with, like my first five matches, I got matched up with people like that already had like 60 wins, and I'm just like, I haven't even touched the game yet, you know? Like, it's almost throwing me in there. I don't know if the, something's wrong with the ranked match or like the way the progression system's mixed in or whatever, however they did it, it's just not working well for me. It's just not working that great. But overall, I'm pretty sure that in a patch, sooner or later, you'll be able to fix that stuff. But other than that, all the games, they work fine in single player mode. They, they really, it's all the arcade mode, really. Like I said, these are all the arcade ports of the original Street Fighter games. And it has, it has quite a bit to bring to the table, but I was a little disappointed that in all the games, you don't really have all these different kind of training modes. You can only train in the four ones that are available to play online. Uh, they don't really have any tutorials. Uh, showing you how to do different moves or stuff. It's just kind of like they have the moves the moves like mapped out But they don't have any like if you click on the move it shows you how to do the move um, That's not a problem for me But I feel like for newcomers a lot of people who want to get into Street Fighter 2 or like Street Fighter Alpha 3 They are gonna have a little bit of problems just kind of trying to Jump in and trying to learn all these different moves that a lot of people like veterans already know about like it'd be cool if it could tell you uh, Different tactics different tips if they could just show you a little bit on you know how to play certain characters i'd really like that obviously i don't think that they would want to go the extra mile of doing for every character in every single game because that that'd be a little ridiculous but i mean if they could have thrown like street fighter 2 or at least explain some of the differences between two turbo new challengers uh hyper fighting or alpha 3 alpha 2 like they could explain some of the differences for new players to come and play that way you know they have an idea of what to expect because if if you're playing street fighter 2 hyper fighting online then you jump right into street fighter 2 turbo you're going to notice immediately that the characters are going to feel different they're going to be playing differently so if you want to play good for a certain game online you better be playing a specific version of that game if you know what i mean is this a bad collection no this this collection is actually probably the best street fighter collection that has come out in legitimately like years probably the best one ever because this is the most complete collection that you have right here there's a lot of cool stuff in here especially the museum mode the museum mode is probably one of the things i re i really liked you you see the first in the museum mode you can actually check out the very first pitch idea for the original street fighter which i thought was really cool it's a lot of stuff like little parts of history that you can see that uh that all leads up to the development of these great games that really they packed a legend into them you know it's just uh, all the concept art, all the different uh, mechanics you can see that they were drawing out for the games. It's all there for you guys to see and it's really interesting to see how this game started out just on paper, just scratch. Not only that, but I gotta admit that one of the best things in this game is probably the soundtracks. The soundtracks, uh, being able to listen to that in the museum mode of every single version of a, of a mo or like a song that's in every single game. It's all there for you guys. Everything that Every song that was built for Street Fighter 1 through uh, Third Strike, 
it's all there. You can listen to every single Street Fighter song if you want. They even have Guile's theme. Every version of Guile's theme. Cammy's theme is all there. You know, Ryu's theme. It's just, it's all there, all for you guys to enjoy. Really, this is kind of for people who have played the original Street Fighter games, people who enjoy playing original Street Fighter, people who played Street Fighter in the arcade. This game is for you. Now, other than the small problems that I have, if you guys are asking, should you buy the game? I'm gonna tell you straight up that, yeah, you probably should buy the game. And you know what? I'd say pick the game up on the Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo Switch, it, it definitely is a lot more portable, and I am gonna be picking it up on the Nintendo Switch, but I just feel it would be more convenient to be carrying it around on the Switch. It's a lot of fun, I think, carrying around Street Fighter on the Switch, because I have, you know, I have the final challenges right here. Uh, one thing I will say I am disappointed about, it did not include Ultra Street Fighter 2, the final challengers. So, if you guys were interested in picking this one up, uh, let me tell you that, sadly, this is this is like a Switch exclusive, basically. It's just, it's Street Fighter, the final challengers. Is there a lot to the game? No, other than like some artwork and extra characters and stuff. But, it would have been nice to see Ultra Street Fighter 2, the final challengers, make its way onto the PlayStation 4, or Xbox One. But, I mean, it, it didn't happen. But, so yeah, I guess that's kind of an excuse that if you want the entire collection, you kind of have to buy Ultra Street Fighter 2, the final challengers. Uh, player base hasn't really dropped off of this yet. There's still people playing online a lot. So, I, I'm definitely, I'm looking forward to get the collection on there. Uh, other than that, other than some connection issues for the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Edition, and, you know, the lack of training mode, uh, some of the games can't play online. It might be a little disappointing for some people, but from what I expected, I didn't, I wasn't like overhyped about it. I was just excited to play Street Fighter Alpha 3 again and be able to play it online. That's really what I was looking forward to. So if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff, definitely worth the price. It's only 40 bucks right now. So definitely in the future, if this is not something that you really need, I'm pretty sure that price is going to drop, you know, sooner or later. Um, but anyways, if you guys have picked up Street Fighter, the 30th anniversary collection let me know what you guys think is there anything that i missed any things that i should talk about um in my overall opinion i think it's a fantastic collection i think it's you know it's real decent for what it is they could have added a little bit more in there but you know what it, it is what it is and i'm happy with what i got you know it's definitely worth the 40 dollars but again let me know what you guys think in the comment section below remember to like comment subscribe don't upvote if you are watching on vidme and as always guys when you guys are gaming power up